Welcome back, everybody. Crimson Pug here again. Um, just thought I'd come back in and show you guys uh, a little bit of something. Um, I logged in and noticed we had something horrible. Um, as you can tell, we are now champion one, which was a small goal before the new year. Um, but sadly, look when the when look when the season ends. It ends in one day, fifteen hours. I am twenty nine trophies away. And this is one reason why I am now this low in trophies. 44 hit, 44 hit for 44, 100%. Wasn't really much of a resource hit for him. He hit me for um, just the trophies, basically. Um, we're going to go into the replay. I don't really like this replay. Um, I wasn't too fond of really watching it. It made me cringe a lot. Um, but nonetheless... So he, of course, he uses the quake to open up everything. The core uses uh, goblins, a handful of goblins, to clean up the resources. Which I know if he was going for resources, this wasn't his initial goal. But as you can see, he puts all his giants down. His uh, clan castle comes out. He pops the grand warden's ability early, so you can save the giants. Try to get them uh, use the immortal tome on them, and then he drops a rage spell. And everything has just been funneled by the ice wizards and by the archers. So he's just basically now he's just going into the core. Uh, he's freezing everything. The ice was a couple ice wizards still running around. Uh, he had a whole bunch of barbarians and archers. He just threw around on the uh, on the right hand side there. So he still has his queen, his king's ability. Uh, the Ice Wizards are still just going to town on the defenses, just doing whatever, you know, doing what they do best. Making this very difficult for me. Um, of course, he now pops his Queen's ability. She's gotten through the wall. Um, he's, she, the Archer Queen's just sitting back, just tanking the, tanking the defenses, uh, cleaning up the top there. So, he's pretty much just gone to town on me, um... I looked at his base, this guy, let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit just to get this over with. Um, and he hit me for 44 trophies. It was not the greatest defense um, I've had as of late, but that really hurt me when it came down to putting, uh, to getting trophies. So I like to push for trophies just because of the resource. And hey, what's that? Hey, we got another little Christmas tree here, guys. Hey, Supercell is finally starting to push out a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, festive theme here with the Christmas update or the Clashmas update, I should say. Um, really, in years past, Supercell usually pushes out several um, Christmas trees. I know last year and the year before I had at least five or six of them around the end of the update, but of course we're going until January fifth. Um, as you can see, that's when. The uh, time it, uh, is when it ends is on January 5th. Um, the Ice Wizards, I know some people, I've been watching some vi other videos on YouTube and some people have been having questions. Um, the one thing with the event challenge is you need to use whatever it tells you. Um, I know like I was watching one of General Tony's videos and when he popped into the events tab, it says for him he must use 12 Ice Wizards in his army to get this uh to get the uh, uh, the day, the bonus for it, and I guess it's based on town hall level. I want to say, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of attacks from yesterday as well. I uh, haven't really been hitting too much lately. Um, I mean, I've been hitting for what I can, but again, a lot of this is just it's. I'm getting higher up in trophies. Enemies are becoming a little bit more difficult to come across. Um, Let's go ahead. I will go ahead. We'll jump into this replay right here, um, and just see what's what's all what's going to happen here. I come in from the upper right, drop the golem, drop the giants, a couple wall breakers to get in there, uh, wizards to start creating my funnel behind everything. I drop the pekkas to help the wizards. Drop a few more wall breakers in. Um, unfortunately, the Tesla popped up and managed to clear them out and clear out the wall breakers. Um, the, Ar the Valkyries are running around doing what uh, they do. They actually managed to tank inside and start pushing towards the core, which was actually very, very beneficial for me. Uh, they go for the Dark Elixir, the Queen. I've already taken out his oppo the opposing Queen. Um, 
the freeze trap uh, is enabled, freezes a lot of my heavy troops on the right hand side there. But my queen, I got a couple Valkyries on the in on the uh, core. They're going to town. The rage spell, the lingering effects of that helps the queen finish that. Um, Valkyrie tanks the expo. Queen starts taking the expo, but she's not really doing enough damage. I have to pop her ability right here. Uh, the Barb King is still running around. I got a wizard running around the outside. He's helping clean up immensely. Um, and as everything is getting cleaned up inside of the core, I pop around with the minions down below here. And they'll help clean up all these structures on the outside on the ring to give me a little bit more percentage. This was a 100% three, uh, two, uh, 100 daily bon or um, collection bonus at the Champions 1 League because we're still uh, within the league. Um, that's a first. The minion, the, the air mine taking out the minion by himself. Usually my minions cluster together and they go down pretty hard. Um, which the Wizard Tower didn't target the minions, but because he got the golem right there, but I guess he's going to go for the closest thing. Um, and then I had two, two golemites, a wizard, and the wizard's going to come in. He's going to take the wizard tower by himself. Let's go ahead and speed that up. He takes out the builder's hut. He's gonna, now going to move over to the gold storage. He takes the gold storage, and he goes for the... Uh, barracks and he ends up there and I end the raid right there because the Golemites aren't going to push to the wall. Let's be real about this. They're not the strongest troops in the game. So uh, right now I'm sitting at about another, about to do another wall segment. I have my star bonus which is available for me to collect. I'm going to start doing that here in a few minutes. Um, I hope we can find something here. Um, I do apologize, guys, for the audio in the video and any blurriness or anything like that. I'm using um, Mobizen, which is a free app on the Google Play Store. And I want to say it's on the App Store as well for iOS. I do not have any iOS products, um, but I found it. It works for what I want to do right now currently. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to get um, a little bit more, maybe have uh, put it on my computer or my TV have a bigger screen so I can take a look and get a better idea of what's going on. Um, I'm, I have some equipment on order right now. I have um, microphone, uh, boom stand, pop filter, everything on order to do some audio recording as well. Um, I'm looking to do some intros and outros as well for these videos. So they're not just simple jump into Clash of Clans sort of things. So that way you have a little bit of an idea of who I am a little bit and have some sort of intro. Um, I feel that's only appropriate for you guys as my uh, viewers and my subscribers to accommodate you with that. Um, it's something I'm looking at right now. Like I said, this is just a hobby right now. I don't ever expect this to take off and um, and become a big thing. I'm probably never going to be as big as uh, some guys like Galadon, Game Grumps, Markiplier, PewDiePie. I'm probably never going to be as big as some of them. But I figure this would just be a fun hobby and a way to kill some time um, and just to do something a little bit more with with my time. Eventually, you know, as, a, as, you, as you, the subscribers, start coming in and watching more video, I'll be pu publishing more videos for you guys. Um, you know, I would appreciate any likes on the video, any comments down below, what you want to see. If you guys want to see troll bases, if you guys want to see army compositions, if you guys want to see me do... Um, a specific attack with an army. If you want to see me, you know, do whatever. If you, I'm not going to go crazy. I don't have all the money in the world like some of these YouTubers where they can just buy gem packs and everything like that. But maybe eventually I will get to the point where I will have uh, some gems on hand. I could do some gemming for you guys. I don't gem. Um, I don't really try to gem troops. Or troop upgrades too much, um, or defenses. I'm not just gonna blow straight through a defense or a, uh, or a barracks or anything. I usually let the time run on it because um, a lot of times I just rather farm and have more fun with the game that way. That's just me. But if it's got you know like a hundred gems and it's you know like a day upgrade left or something, I usually will just gem it just to get it done so I can move on to the next one if I have the resources available. Um, again, I appreciate you guys, my viewers, my subscribers, and if you've made it this far to the end of the video, please leave a like, please leave a comment down below. I will put, um, the annotations on the end of the video. I'll put the, uh, General Tony's, 
Uh, link down in the description box and Galadon as well for those of you who have not subscribed to them if you haven't subscribed or have seen their channels. Um, I'm taking a look at Jasu as well who is a friend of General Tony. So we are going to be seeing... Um, looks like we're not going to find anybody. Um, I'm going to take start taking a look at Jasu's channel. I want to say I'm subscribed. I haven't seen any of his videos though. But we will... Um, this has been Crimson Pug. Clash away.